Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to list out Django projects you all must try and build to master Django in this time. So these, these projects are from simple to complex, you get. So right now let's get started. So the first the first project you should try building is, is a blog, you understand? So as a Django developer, we are just starting out in Django, you must know how to build a blog, you understand? So that's the number one project and your blog must have these three basic component they must have the list page the page that has all the blog content you understand they also that the blog is also going to have a detail page the blog can also have a comment section whereby people can come in and drop their comments again and you can even take your blog and a, a level higher by adding users profile you users can come on board create accounts and have their various profiles you understand so the first project you should try building is what a blog number two is an online shop you remember if you know something like amazon jumia those are online stores you can try replicating with django in a sense so you can you just go just go a step further after you might have built a blog try building an online shop with django in a sense so i have tutorials on that on this channel whereby i built an online shop using django I also have tutorials whereby I built a blog using Django in the stand. So that's the first two. So number three is building an e-learning platform. Something simple in, in the stand. So we have some e-learning, so we have some platforms you already know, something like Udemy, Skillshare, Coursera. Those are some popular e-learning platforms you can try emulating in the stand. You can just do something simple. You don't have to be something exactly like Udemy or Coursera because that will be kind of difficult to do, but it's possible. You understand? So the number one is building a blog. Number two is an online shop. Number two is an e-learning platform. So number four is building a social media web application, something like Facebook. You understand? So if users can come on board. They can see people's people's posts. They can like a post. They can comment. They can share a post. You understand? Something as simple as that. You can users can come. They can log in, create an account, like posts, share posts, and do basic social media activities in the stand. So that's the, the first item is a blog, second item is an online shop, the third item is, a, is an e-learning platform, and the fourth item is a social media web application. And before I proceed, this video is being brought to you by Wazo Plus. So let's give a, let's give a shout out to Wazo Plus. Okay, so this is wazoplus.com. So Wazo Plus is a top African media platform for millennials, and on this website, we share a lot of trending information, trending topics around the world in this time. So, and content here, we have content in podcast form, content in video form in this time. So you can come here and pick whichever form of content you love you get. So let's just have a little browse around on this website. Let's see how it looks like. This are some of the content in text form. We have some featured podcasts you would love to listen to. We have some trending content you love to read and know about you get. So, this is Wazo Plus. This is Wazo Plus has come. And on this website, again, you can come here and become a content creator. You can come here and share your own content with people around the world. You understand? So on Wazo Plus is a win-win for you, you get. So just try out to try out Wazo Plus has come. You will find the link in the video description. So come on board on Wazo Plus. So that's it for Wazo Plus. Okay, okay, we're back again. So the number the, the fifth item you should try building is you should try building a content management system. You understand? Something like medium.com. You understand? If you know medium.com, me, on medium, you can go up there, you can create articles for your own self. You understand? So something, something like that. Create a content management system like medium, WordPress. You understand? So just try something like that. You remember, remember you're gonna build your simple, you're not meant to build exactly the same features WordPress has or media because that's gonna be super hectic or difficult for you to do. And the sixth item on my list is building APIs. As a Django developer, you must know how to build APIs, it's necessary, you understand? Because Django is Django is really really meant for the back end, you get so as a Django developer was not the big APIs that front-end applications can consume. So it's necessary to do that. I also have a series on this web, on this on this channel whereby I thought how to build an API for an e-commerce website. You understand? So check that out. I have everything linked in the video description, you understand? And the last but not the least is building a chat server, you understand? So if you like a chat server that that's super comp that's quite complex, you understand? So for the advanced guys here, you can try building you can try building out a chat server. You can use Django channels instead. I made a tutorial some months back. I used Ajax for my instead. So you can choose channels to make your own chat server 
for is using Django in a start. So these are the projects you should build as a Django developer. Number one is a blog, try that out. Number two is an online shop. Number two is an e-learning platform. Number four is a social media web application you get. And number five is a content management system. Number six, I said, you must not build an API. You must know, build an API as necessary. And the last but not the least is building a chat server. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So stay blessed and bye-bye.